Good morning, science learners! Welcome to our science learning episode for quarter 3, week 3. At the end of this learning video, you are expected to describe the force exerted by a magnet. But before we begin, please prepare your science notebook, ball pen, and take note of the important concepts of our today's lesson. Can you still recall our past lesson? Amazing! Okay. Last week, you learned about magnetism. Magnetism is the force that acts on objects made of nickel, iron, and cobalt and makes them move. You also learned that magnets have invisible magnetic fields. Also, you were able to identify the objects that are not attracted to a magnet. These objects are non-metal because they are made up of wood, rubber, paper, glass, and plastic. Now, let me check your understanding of our past lesson by answering this quick review. You may write your answer below this video. Are you all ready? Let's begin. Direction. Draw a star if the object will attract to a magnet and heart if not. Number one, apple. Number two, spoon. Number three, book. Number four, flower. Number five, paper clip. Good job, kids! This time, we will perform an activity. Are you all excited? The materials needed here are two pieces of bar magnet and a table. Here are the procedures. Place two bar magnets on the table. Then, put the north pole of the bar magnet to the north pole of the other bar magnet. Observe what happened. Illustrate your observation. Now, put the north pole of the bar magnet to the south pole of the other bar magnet. Observe what happens. Illustrate your observation. Here are the guide questions. What happens when the same poles of a magnet face each other? Second, what happens when the opposite poles of a magnet face each other? The force exerted by a magnet on a certain material is either push or pull. It is called magnetic force. Magnets have invisible magnetic field. It exerts a non-force which is a type of force that acts at a distance even without touching the object. Magnets may differ in sizes and shapes, but they all have the same properties. Look at this illustration. As you can see, most of the iron fillings stick to the magnet. The place where the magnetic force of a magnet is stronger is at its ends. These ends are what we call the poles. All magnets have two poles. N stands for North Pole and S for South Pole. 
when the same pull face near each other, they will repel or push each other away. When the opposite pole face near each other, they will attract or pull each other together. Now, look at the repulsion of two magnets. The attraction of two magnets. You have to remember, the force exerted by a magnet is either push or pull, or what we call magnetic force. Magnets have two poles, the north pole and the south pole. When the poles of two magnets place near each other, it has a force that will pull them together or push them apart. When the same poles of two magnets place near each other, they repel or push each other away. When the opposite poles of two magnets place near each other, they attract or pull each other together. If you break a magnet, the force that will be exerted by it will decrease. The push and pull of a magnet are called magnetism. We can use iron fillings to illustrate the magnetic field of a magnet. Most of our appliances have a magnet inside them, like television, radio, refrigerator, and washing machine. Now that you can describe the force exerted by a magnet, I want you to get your science notebook and ball pen. You are going to answer this assessment time. Direction, choose the letter of the correct answer.